So today I'm talking about a C0040 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the C0040 code? Well, it's a right front wheel speed sensor circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically at each wheel on the vehicle, there's what's called a speed sensor that's just reporting back to the computer how fast that wheel is moving. And it's reporting this information back to the computer, which is using the information for the anti-lock brake system. So for example, if you're driving down the road in the rain and one tire moves a little quicker than another tire, the computer can use this information to adjust the brakes and help out with the vehicle stability. But when you get a C0040 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly with the right front wheel speed sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a C0040 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that speed sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. So the first thing to do is go locate that wheel speed sensor on your particular vehicle and do some tests to check to see if it has gone bad. And there's some different ways to go about testing these wheel speed sensors. You can use a multimeter if you want to. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also use it. Basically inside your scan tool, you just go inside a live data and you find the option for the right front wheel speed sensor. And then you drive the vehicle and you check to see if it's working, if it is matching what the other sensors are doing and things like this. If that speed sensor just stays at zero, then you know there's a problem with it. So if you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can test it that way. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad right front wheel speed sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the speed sensor. If there's any issues there, like an open or a short or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So it is a good idea to go check out the wiring going around to that wheel speed sensor. Sometimes things can come up and underneath the vehicle and they could hit those wires or something like this. So if you can, go check out those wires and be sure that it doesn't look like there's no damage or anything like this. You can also use a multimeter to check to see if there is any open or short inside of the wires. It's also a good idea to check for any blowing fuses, even though usually those sensors themselves, they're not on a fuse, but there can be related things that are on the fuse that might affect it. Mainly anything labeled like ABS or something along those lines. So it can be a good idea to check any brake related fuses, but the next thing is gonna cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that might affect this is what's called a reluctor ring. And basically down on that axle is a reluctor ring and this is spinning I mean, every single time one of these notches is directly in front of that wheel speed sensor it can detect this and it's reporting this information back to the computer and the computer can do its calculations and figure out how fast that wheel's moving but if that reluctor ring become damaged for some reason then it can be thrown off that sensor it could be causing it to do weird things and not work correctly so if you take that wheel speed sensor off you can look down in there and just check to see if that reluctor ring looks like it's okay like it's good and that there's no damage there because the next thing that could cause this is a bad reluctor ring and the last thing i list is going to be a bad abs module and this isn't too common usually when you just have a c0040 code it's either going to be a bad right front wheel speed sensor or some kind of issue inside of the wiring but it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on with that abs module it might be having some kind of issue. But like I said, this isn't very common. Usually when something does go wrong with the ABS module, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. And so if you're getting other codes for other tires, like other wheel speed sensor codes or things along these lines, then there might be some kind of problem with that ABS module. So if you are getting other codes or a lot of other codes or things like this, then it is possible that there is something wrong with that ABS module. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ABS module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the C0040 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.